hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you in SQL server how to create a store procedure with multiple output parameters let's search the employee details number 8 which is a Chetrika I am adding here 8 let's execute the statement see here we got the employee ID Chetrika now next let's add the 20 which is a current 20 execute see here we got the current details let's check the last one let's enter the employee id sam the sam id is 2 execute and here we got the sam details if you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. I just logged into my SQL Server Management Studio right now and notice in this SQL Server I have opened the employee table which contains 4 columns ID, name, email and salary. Now my aim is I want to create a store procedure with multiple output parameters. For example, when I type the employee ID is 1 I want to get the output details of the employee name email and salary let's create a new store procedure in the sample DB database notice there is a programmability folder expand that one store procedures right click that one new store procedure let's delete this default store procedure code create procedure dbo dot get emp details is the stored procedure name I'm declaring the table variables at id which is the integer data type comma the second column name email and salary at name varcar50 at email varcar50 at salary varcar50 notice I have written the salary type is a varcar because when I created the table design, the data type is a varchar. So let's add this 10. Now what I'm doing, the variables name, email and salary, I'm making this output. Output. Output as begin set no count on and now between this begin and end I'm adding the statement select at name is equals to comma at email is equals to email comma at salary is equals to salary from the table name is dbo dot employee table let's copy this one and paste here where id is equals to at id go let's create the stored procedure execute and here we got the message command completed successfully let's check in the stored procedures folder I'm refreshing the folder I'm expanding the stored procedures folder and here we got the employee details stored procedure name now it's time to execute the stored procedure 
right click the sample db new query declare at id which is the integer type at name varchar 50 at email varchar 50 at salary varchar 10 after declaring the variables let's execute the store procedure and this is a keyword to execute the store procedure and our store procedure name is dbo.employDetails copy this one paste here at id is equals to at id comma at name is equals to at name comma at email is equals to at email at salary is equals to at salary in our store procedure the output parameter is the name email and salary so let's add these ones output copy this one select at id as emp id comma at name as employee name comma at email as between single quotes emp email comma at salary as between single quotes i'm adding salary now my aim is i want to search the employee details using employee id so here i'm adding the keyword set at id is equals to let's search the employee details number eight which is a chetrika i'm adding here eight let's execute the statement see here we got the employee id chetrika now next let's add the 20 which is a current 20 execute See here we got the current details. Let's check the last one. Let's enter the employee ID SAM. The SAM ID is 2. Execute. And here we got the SAM details. That's it.